enemies that are like roughly the same size as you or like humanoid type enemies, usually you can backstab them. And the same with bosses. You can like take advantage of that big time with bosses too. Um, but there are just certain ones that for whatever reason they just don't let you do it. So sometimes it looks like I should be able to, but then it's just an enemy that they don't no want me to backstab, us, so. I will be at Lady and Serving her Let's add the goods. This is a supply there we go. Box, Let's see what we can buy now that we have some extra stuff. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. You're no welcome. What fate brings us, so cute. I will be at Lady and Serving her is my duty. Welcome to Hotel... Hi, we could just buy quartz now? We could buy two. I, why are they? Oh, I guess it's just the price that separates them. Yo, that's so cool. I mean, I might as well. Why would I not? I don't think dark moonstones are what I need anymore. I think I can buy these too, can I? Oh no, I'm a little short. Yo, that's awesome, though. Hold on, you know what? I'll no just sell it. We'll sell that. Three, eight, nine, eight. I think if we just sell one of those, I think we got it. Yeah, why the hell not? Nice. Yeah, I think my weapon is past Dark Moonstones. Let me just uh, double check, though. Oh, there's so many rooms. I always get so confused. <laughs> oh, I should craft the Legion Arm, too. I my way around a weapon. Yeah, I need full Moonstones now. I don't know what comes after full Moonstones. I wouldn't really think very much. I'm already at plus three. I don't know what the max weapon upgrade in this, though, if it's like Dark Souls, if it's like plus 10. Because I feel like I'm very far off if that's the case, but this game could be different. But yeah, we need full ones now. I want to play Baldur's Gate 3 so badly, but I want to finish other games right now and there's not a lot of free time. Soul, I completely understand that. I think a lot of us definitely feel that. It kind of goes back to what I was talking about with just wanting to play so many games and I feel overwhelmed with all of the options I have. You know what I mean? But I mean, I put I put a little over 100 hours into Baldur's Gate 3. I was playing it since release and I ultimately put it down so I could focus on Lies of P and Lords of the Fallen. And now Alien Isolation as well. Um... <laughs> But once I'm done with Lies of P, I'm gonna pick up Lords of the Fallen again. It's just it's been it's been kind of a lot trying to go back and forth between the two, which is why I decided to uh, to just put one down. But I'm playing this. I'm playing Lords of the Fallen. I'm playing Alien Isolation for the first time. That's what I'm gonna be continuing tomorrow, which is gonna be really fun. I got to a pretty uh, a pretty creepy part with the alien, and it's one of my first real encounters with it so far in the game. So it's, it's been really fun, though. I'm not really a horror game fan. I'm not a jump scare fan, but something about that game is really, really fun. So I'm, I'm actually digging it quite a lot. <gasps> More heals. Belt slots. I just want a staggerable window, fable slots. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I'm in phase three, so I need to put three quarts though. That's a lot. Does it go up? Oh my God. In phase five, you get to four. That's brutal. Just to have an extra effect, like hot damn. That'd be cray cray. Um. This doesn't get. I don't think this gives us more heals. This just makes them more. This gives them better potency, is what it sounds like. It doesn't give me more, I don't think. 
Yeah, this increased the number I have. This is just going to make them better. You know what? We'll go for it. I've been saying that Tears is not game of the year since the day it came out. I mean, I, lo I love Zelda. I'm a huge... I have a Navi necklace on right now. She's adorable. I have Zelda fairies tattooed up my side. Like, I love the series so much. And it holds a special place in my heart. I just... I loved Tears of the Kingdom so much. I just feel like, for me, compared to Baldur's Gate 3, it's just... It's, it's a really hard decision. But Baldur's Gate 3 was just... It was something else. It really was. But Tears was phenomenal, too. I'm just trying to think. I mean, that's not bad. Just to do something a little bit more like utility instead of just attack and defense, really. So we can do that one. Lowers damage received when pulse cells are discharged. Can anyone answer me what that means by discharge? Does it mean like when I use them? Like I take lower damage if I get hit while using a heal? Or is there something else to that? Oh, Alan Wake 2! Oh my god, retro, thank you. Thank you, I completely forgot that was on the list. That's one that I want to use. Or... That's one that I want to play, but I want to play the first one first. Like, I want to play them in order. But I've, I've seen that that game is amazing. Falk, my dude! How you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. You popped in right at the start of the stream and you were a lurky turkey, I remember. It is so awesome to see you and I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. I hope you had a fantastic time. Speaking of Tears of the Kingdom, we were legit just talking about that game because we've been talking about, for the past couple of streams, the Game of the Year nominations and what y'all are thinking uh, will win for Game of the Year. So I'm, I'm curious what any of you have to say about that because we've been talking about it like all day. But for anyone stopping on in, if it's your first time here, if you do not know me, my name is Pixie. Hi, I'm a variety streamer. You typically will find me playing any Dark Souls games, anything Souls-like, or anything that just gives me a good challenge. I, I definitely like the struggle because coming out on top after the struggle feels absolutely amazing. I call it the gamer high <laughs> and I absolutely love it. We're playing Lies of P today and I've taken out two bosses already. So I'm just kind of making my way through, making my way downtown to the next section, but it's awesome to have you all here. Welcome, welcome on in everyone. It means when you have zero left, when they're discharged, when I have zero left. Oh, like when, when I use all of them and I have none left. Okay, I see what you mean. Okay, that makes sense. That's kind of cool. It just gives you a little more durability. I don't really know if I want to spec into that though. It's kind of nice. Just in general, it's nice. Kimmy? Kimmy Cat? Hi, welcome on in, Kimmy. That name is really cute. I like that. It's just fun to say. Kimmy Cat. I hope you're well. It's good to meet you. Babe. Hi, babe. How's it going? Thank you for stopping on in with that raid. I appreciate it. Hello. I had you up through the stream. I'm loving tears. It's my game of the year for sure. See, that's what I like to hear people say. I think it's interesting because sometimes... I feel like sometimes people could be really biased and they're like, oh, well, this game of the year, like, it's the game I loved. It's got to win, right? But I like how you say it's my game of the year. Because honestly, I love Baldur's Gate 3. I think that's my personal game of the year as well. But this game is a really freaking close second. I'm having so much fun with this game. Like, even when I do struggle. I'm going to do that. Instead of reducing my damage when I have no heals left, I'm going to make my attack stronger. <laughs> I think I've specced more into the attack cells than anything else. Like, am I weird? Like, is that not what everyone does in this game? 
I feel like the attack perks are the way to go. It'd be interesting to talk to someone that's done like a big time like survival build or utility kind of build. Like just to see what their play style's like. I feel like you'd be able to take a lot of hits. I almost forgot to tell you I played and completed Sonic Superstars. You completed did you 100% it? Because that's always a good feeling. You definitely get your money's worth when you go for like all the trophies or all the achievements. Okay, we're gonna have to... I got the fruit. So we have to go to this entrance and I think Aladoro is gonna be here somewhere. That's what it looks like it's telling me. It's ad-free dreaming time. Yo, no worries, Andy. Thanks for such a lovely stream and kicking that king of puppets ass. Oh my god, it felt amazing. I still can't. I'm still in shock that I did it as quick as I did. It felt so freaking good. Have an awesome night, Andy. I do plan to be streaming tomorrow, so maybe I'll catch you then. But if not, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night and I hope I catch you soon. Thank you so much for hanging out. I think BG3 should win, but there's voting, so it could be a popularity contest. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's like, what game do you, th like, what game do you want to win game of the year versus what game do you think should win just based on the hype? And that's kind of what I'm getting at. Like, I love Tears of the Kingdom. I think it was a great game. The release was so fun. I thought it was really fun. Those damn alchemists. Oh, we here he is. Here. here he is. Almost we found him. Well, it's not like I care about those hotel people But at anyway. the same time, it's just, there was like, limits. there was such an influx of newer D and D players and just people getting into D and D because of Baldur's Gate three. Like I feel like Baldur's Gate three, for a lot of people, and this is just my two cents, but I feel like it was more than just a great game. I think it was more than just a great game. It was something that just inoculated a lot of people into a new community. Like you know what I mean? It's it's like I don't want to say it was like revolutionary. I'm not going to be dramatic about it, but. I just think, you know, Tears of the Kingdom, as amazing as it was, it was another Zelda game that probably got a lot of new players into Zelda, to say it that way, too. But, like, the amount of people, I remember when Baldur's Gate 3 came out, the amount of people I saw streaming it, like, I wanted to avoid spoilers as much as I can, and I eventually just gave up on that. <clears throat> How'd you do? Because there's no way I could, I because everyone was playing. Like <laughs> oh, don't pretend surprised that I got here before you, after all. I can elude the darkest monsters, the loftiest beings. It's good to see you. It's good to see in you fairness, too, I babe. Do Thank you so much for stopping well. in. I do hope life I is shall treating you well. I tell you something since we're nearly peers. We can all talk they about Game of the Year, but it'll always be a personal preference. Yeah, it always it will be. It like a crow gathering shiny and things. And kind of like, kind of like we said before, it might be a popularity contest. Rare parts and weapons worthy of But a like hero. I said uh, earlier today, I don't feel. Like, if no matter which game Ego wins, monsters, I'm going to be happy about it because I feel like they're all use. more than deserving of being You're there. A worthy hunter, it's not like there's it worthy a couple prey. nominees where I'm Show just like, why in the flip is that game of. there? That game wasn't that good. You know, I feel like they're all just wonderful in their own way. Yo, what's up, Death Eater? How you doing? Welcome on in, my dude. Ooh, very nice up dale i see you there i lost all faith in the game awards in 2020 so i don't pay much attention that's fair i don't take them i don't know i don't take it too literally either like i guess it, it's the game awards but still Valk, what are you getting up to with the rest of your night? I know it's getting later um, over there for you, so I'm assuming you're just going to kind of do your post-stream self-care, maybe get some food, cozy on up, maybe make a cup of tea, if it won't keep you up all night. <laughs> I think that's something I need to, to stop doing as well. As much as I love my tea, I like to have, like, I like to have a cup of tea after supper, and normally I don't think caffeine really gets to me that much. Because there are times where I can drink coffee, like, later on after dinner, and I have no issues sleeping. But I really love having a nice warm cup of tea, like, after supper. So it might be, like, 7 p.m. or something. 
and I'm having a cup of tea and maybe I shouldn't do that. It could maybe help me sleep better, but I was talking earlier about all of that. I was looking at some books on Amazon. I think I wish listed the um I wish listed one of the Legend of Drizzt D&D books, which I think would be fun to read and to get into that series because of Baldur's Gate 3. I want to read more of those books and I wish listed um the um Kiyoshi graphic novels from uh, The Last Airbender. I've only read one of the graphic novels and that show means so much to me. I love it so much. So I would love to read more of those. This has got to be one of the best year in terms of quality releases in gaming. Oh, I totally agree with that. Oh, this is looking like a really big spot. Why do I feel like something's going to happen right here? Something big. Hello? Oh no! Oh my god, Dark Souls 3 vibes. What's going on? Oh, can you can you shoot these guys too? Can you kind of do me a solid and help me out? That'd be pretty cool. I'd appreciate that. Oh god almighty. I wonder if I could just go up there and kill that guy. Maybe then I could actually use it for myself. Gollum is going for game of the year. <laughs> oh my god, Gollum looked like an absolute disaster. I mean, I didn't play, but I saw some ridiculous looking, like just people playing it like on TikTok and stuff. Oh wait, shortcut. Like it just looked so ridiculous. Like I, I really don't know what they were thinking. Like, just, just with the way it looked, it was such a flop. And I'm, I'm not going to sit here and shit talk the devs or anything. Like, I, I don't want to be like that. You know what I mean? I went the wrong way. I have to take the, the left. You know, I don't want to shit talk any devs, but... No, I'm not, Doug! <laughs> don't you tell me what shit I'm talking, because I'm not talking shit at all. I hope you're doing amazing, Doug. It's nice to see you, my dude. You were playing Super Mario Sunshine, I think you said. And it sounded like you were having a lot of fun. I'm really happy to hear it. But I'm not talking shit, damn it. But Gollum, that's just a fact. I'm sorry. Gollum just did not look very good at all. Like, I mean, even just the look, even just the look of his, like, face. You know, just like some of the, the petty, maybe I'm being petty with the aesthetics, but... Like, Lord of the Rings has such an immense following and some really diehard fans that I honestly feel like people thought Gollum was a bit insulting. <laughs> like, to the community. Like, it just it just didn't look good. And a, there was a part of me, a small part of me, like, when it was ready to come out, that was like, you know what? That actually sounds like a kind of, kind of a cool idea. Like, maybe it's something I'll get. And then the first couple of videos I saw about it, I was just like, no, never mind. Like, I'm good. Apple cider? Ooh, that sounds great. Especially with uh, Thanksgiving coming up and stuff. Apple cider sounds perfect. Poison swamps, gotta have them. I know, right? You always gotta have them. Honestly, I don't want to jinx anything. This area is not as bad as I would have thought, though. Just in general with, like, the poison and stuff. It's not, like, excessive. Not yet, anyway. There. Oh, okay. I'll just do that, too. That works. If I can clear out some of these little guys and be quick about it. I wouldn't play it if they paid me to. Oh, man. There you go. Did an Iron Man playthrough of Gollum? No. Wait, an Iron Man playthrough? Isn't that when you're supposed to, um... Oh, what does that mean? I know I've heard that term before. It's gonna bother me that I can't think of it right now. Is that not, like, a deathless run or something? Or is there more to it than that? I, I don't know. That just sounds ridiculous, especially for a game that's that bad. Oh, God. Go on. 
hit yourself on that. I feel like that's what I need him to do. Wow. Are you serious? All right. Well, I kind of went in that building. I don't think I saw stairs there, so I might not even need to, uh... I might not even need to go back that way. That game was not so precious. Maybe in terms of the people that played it. That's what I mean. With the following Lord of the Rings has, there was probably such high expectations for it, and yeah. <laughs> It was such a flop. I'm heading home. I hope you get home safe. Dev, don't twitch and drive. I say that to people all the time. Don't twitch and drive, but I very much appreciate the lurk. I just got home. I had fun with it. Somehow I'd never beaten it before until the other night. Young Doug, I guess, didn't have the patience. I definitely understand that feeling, but that's really cool though. People have a lot of nostalgia for games like that. And with all the Mario stuff that's come out and even the Super Mario RPG remake, I want to get into that at some time as well. Because I, I played the original. It was very fun. I just know that I never beat it. And very much like you, I think younger Pixie just lost her patience with a certain boss. So it'd be fun to kind of revisit him and show him what, you know, post Soulsborn vet Pixie is like. Like, watch the fuck out. <laughs> Give me Shadows of Mordor 3. I never played those. I've never played any of those. I've heard really good things, but I've never tried them. I think Gemini played one of them on stream. Or maybe even two of them, I forget. I'm not even going to go that way. I don't care about the uh, the ergo. I just want to see if going another way is the way I need to go. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Well, I'm stuck now. Oh, no. I wanted to avoid you. Ah. Gem, thanks for your emergency protection. I appreciate it. Don't you whistle at me. Oh, no. What the fuck? All right. It's going to force me to do it. I don't want to. <laughs> like, I'm stuck on it. It's not even there. Stupid piece of garbage. Why didn't you get him? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Where was I supposed to stab him? <laughs> I was right there, too. Usually there's like a little red spot that kind of pops up on the ground and it sort of tells you where to stand, but that guy didn't have anything, so I didn't think it mattered. Yep. I just got Schmeckeldorfed big time. <laughs> Are you actually joking? We got him anyway. My god. Ah! I almost wonder. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if it's possible to, like, put moonstone pieces together to make bigger moonstones, or if you just find them the way they are. Because I have so many of just, like, the half-moon stones and stuff like that. It's like, it'd be nice to be able to combine them. So they do exist. Other puppets like me not bound by the Grand Covenant. 
Makes you feel really bad. I thought I was forever alone. of this. Thanks. The covenant, Thanks for that reminder. Appreciate me. you. Monstrous humans, puppets. They all hate me. But I want to be friends with humans. Mm -hmm. If I learn how to feel, would that be possible? If you tell me how, I'll return the favor. I want to learn oh, how God. to feel. How do I help you do that? Hello, my only friend. Oh. Oh, I'm supposed to get some kind of knowledge then. Oh, no. Not good. Okay, that was really satisfying. I literally just tore him to shreds. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that spinning torso, too. Looks beautiful. Wow. That had some serious, uh... I don't know what you... I wouldn't call it torque. Would you call it torque? Had some serious rotation. <laughs> yeah, Travis. That's perfect. The little rolling Oddish. Is that Liv's emote? I know I know she's into Oddish. I think it's really cool. You're past Victor. Nice. Yo, what's up, Atria? How you doing? Welcome on in, dude. Yeah, I took out the King of Puppets and Victor today, so I am feeling I'm feeling amazing. It's been such a fun time. Oh, is there not much to see after this? There's no other staircase. There's no secret tunnel. All right. I guess we might be forced to go that way then. Unless there's another path. I guess it was just for taking out that guy then. That's fair. All right. Well, let's head on down. Lies of P seems like a great family game to me. Just playing with cute puppets all the time. Yeah, totally family friendly. You know, honestly, though, I think it's more family friendly than like a lot of the Souls games. I, I like that it's, it's not super gory. Oh, that was a shortcut. Nice. Like, I have nothing against like the gore and stuff in Bloodborne, but like, especially if you're playing this game like around like your younger kids, I think it's really nice to have a game like this that, you know, like there's violence, but it's not like over the top. It's not too much. Okay. Well, I kind of looped around, but that doesn't really help me. Because I still don't know where to go from here. Let's go pick the fruit, though. We'll go back to the hotel. We'll pick the fruit. <gasps> oh! Aladoro? Don't I have to give that glove to Aladoro? Did he come to the swamp? If that's the case, I haven't seen him yet, I don't think. 